Okay, so I think it's uh, the, uh, the next question is a follow up to this one, which says, what is your advice to help developers understand the need for security already in the development process? Yeah, uh, this has been a, a sort of a big question over the last uh, two years where you've seen uh, the, uh, the advent or the, the increase in, um, in the popularity of bug bounties. Uh, and, and sort of th th that's one approach that, uh, that many companies have taken with their products, whether they be web apps or desktop applications. So just to give uh, the audience a bit of a premise here, secure coding is essentially a development practice that uh, involves developing applications with security in mind uh, during the development process. And again, if you, if you take the, uh, the example of the earlier question or the answer to the earlier question, uh, you can see how that fits in with uh, continuous integration and continuous deployment or uh, all that type of philosophy. So uh, again, uh, the whole big question is uh, the importance of security for developers, right? So, or uh, rather the importance uh, for that. So uh, again, uh, depending on the development philosophy that you choose to use, uh, this can be looked at in sort of various ways. How, uh, I'll explain why it's important uh, nowadays, especially if you are considering um, using this um, or implementing secure code for your project. So first of all, uh, there has been a huge increase in the number of software vulnerabilities and bugs that are being exploited. Uh, so again, if you take a look at these statistics, for every new web application or mobile app or desktop application, uh, you're going to get a lot, the application is going to get scrutinized a whole lot more than, uh, you know, than it was uh, in previous years. And that's because, again, of the rise or the, uh, the increase in the number of people uh, getting into InfoSec and actually testing out uh, these pieces of software. So that's one of the importances of implementing secure code and why developers should take it seriously. Uh, secondly, uh, a large amount of these vulnerabilities are usually caused by mistakes during the development process or coding mistakes. So again, understanding that, uh, that there is a, a, a new aspect or a fire paradigm like a secure coding will again help you prevent uh, you know, these common misconfigurations. So again, uh, having a good understanding of secure coding practices for whatever languages or frameworks you plan to use, I think that's, uh, that's very, very important. Um, and thirdly, uh, it's much cheaper to integrate uh, secure coding or it's much cheaper to use secure coding as opposed to sort of a reactive approach to security where you fix bugs uh, when, when they're reported uh, instead, of, um, instead of actually uh, taking a look at them uh, more, cl uh, more closely and uh, taking a look at the vulnerabilities within the development process. So again, it's, it's much, much cheaper to, to approach security that way. So those are pretty much the, the three points I would point uh, out to any developer who is interested in secure coding and is wondering why it's so important right now. Awesome answer. So uh, are you actually implementing or actually, or are you actually doing secure code, code, secure, secure code review in your practice, like right now? Um, at the moment, uh, not really. I was part of a team earlier on, I think in 2017, and that was primarily my job. But again, uh, it's very new to developers because even when you take a look at uh, these coding boot camps and where, wherever developers are learning right now, uh, it's something that's rarely even touched upon or covered. And then, you know, they go to they want to work for startups and they develop an application that's like seriously vulnerable and they, 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 uh, they are unaware of like common vulnerabilities with code because these frameworks and languages do have inherent vulnerabilities and you need to actually ensure that you're developing around them. So, yeah, it's... Uh, it's something that's very, very, uh, it's, it's very new for developers, but again, it's increasingly important. Yeah, I definitely concur. So uh, even if you would uh, look for materials on secure code review, there, there are like really, there's a scant, there are only few of them. Uh, I've been interested uh, in secure coding myself and mm -hmm. I've, uh, there's, uh, from what I know or from what I found, there's at least one platform where you can learn this interactively and that's, uh, I think it's Secure Code Warrior. But in terms of courses and stuff like that or books, uh, there aren't as many books on secure code or on developing uh, code securely 
as there are like, for example, for penetration testing or other some sort of uh, different approach like the blue team type of stuff. So uh, this is this is going to be an emerging field. Uh, and uh, of course, there's going to be a lot of need for people to actually become uh, not only developers actually learning how to uh, securely develop code, but also people who can do code review in terms of security. Yeah, and uh, I think just adding on to that, um, I think it's also uh, proven a point that uh, we have hackers now or infosec professionals who are actually better at reviewing code for security vulnerabilities than developers themselves. And that's, again, why bug bounties are so popular now. They do a much better job than developers themselves. So, yeah, it that's is great. a rising field in whatever uh, platform uh, you're talking about. So, yeah, really, really a good field now.